Oh, you guys want some? Huh? Hey! Yeah, I want to feed you some. It's Australian tradition. Huh? We big some milk, baby! Alright. I'm gonna make a video now. Oh! What's up, guys? Oh, <clears throat> I didn't see you there. Sorry, I was... I was just pruning the garden. What do you know about the Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Collection? What about the Yu-Gi-Oh! Leg leg legendary? The Legendary. That sounds like a nice little milk bar cafe. The Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Collection 2. I'm actually not too sure. And I'm so sorry, Magic fans. I'm gonna have to milk your teats soon enough. If I recall correctly, I picked these up in Walmart quite a long time ago. This is just such a beautiful box. I am a sucker for holographic. We have, um, some god cards there, the Divine Beasts. This is an absolute nostalgia box, catering to all the Neckbeard original Yu-Gi-Oh fans. The most famous monsters, one each of, the Blue-Eyes White Dragon, the Dark Magician, and the Red-Eyes Bee Dragon. We well, all know that stands for black. All three of the original legendary god cards, with a little asterisk here that says, not allowed in tournament play. And then I think we've got some special packs and things like that. Oh, this box is gorgeous. I don't know how they thought they could follow up this box with this one as the second one. It's just, it's just a red box. All right, let's not read too much into it. Let's actually see what we get. Oh, yep, we've got some beautiful packs with uh, Yugi on the front of all of them. Yummy Yugi, whatever. They just seem like uh, four different packs from four different sets, I think. Oh, no, we have uh, two more. Blue Eyes, White Dragon, and Pharaoh's Servant. Interesting. This feels still pretty heavy. What do we have? Okay. Slifer the Sky Dragon. Oh, is this a, a game board or a mat? Okay, we've got the God cards. Oh, wow, this is heavy duty. I don't think I've seen that before. Why doesn't Pokemon do this? It's a game board, except it's hard foldable cardboard. It's kind of got a, a waxy finish to it as well. And here we have our special pack. I think with our god cards in it, and probably uh, the blue eyes and the other special cards. Let's take a look here. Obelisk the Tormentor on the front there. And then after that, Slifer the Sky Dragon, everyone's favorite. After that, we've got the Winged Dragon of Ra, of course. You gotta have, they've gotta come in threes, boys. And then we've got the blue eyes, white dragon, holographic as well. And then after that, we've got a reprint of the Dark Magician, of course. And finally, we have the Red Eyes B Dragon. Asian parents be like, why not Red Eyes A Dragon? Am I right, Asian viewers? All right, let's start with Dark Crisis, one we've definitely opened on this show before from one of the repackaged packs. Surely this is not a repackaged pack, right? This surely seems official. We have a Shadow Knight. We've got a Kelbic non-spellcasting area. Um, then we have this as some sort of holographic interdimensional matter transporter. It's a mouthful. Uh, we've got Guardian Bow, Bolt Bow. This one's got the shiny name. I still have not learnt uh, the rarities of Yu-Gi-Oh. We've got um, Barack Obama, and then on the end, Fairy of the Spring. Invasion of Chaos, also one we have opened in the past on this channel. Uh, and not not the, that distant past. Uh, I don't know why I'm even putting one to the front. I have no idea what I'm doing. We've got the um, yellow Barack Obama in his underwear. We've got the burning algae. We've got Black Luster Soldier. Enjoy an, an, an envoy of the beginning. Okay. So it's, at least it's just some art featuring the Black Luster Soldier. Uh, but he's definitely a fan favorite. Uh, then we've got Chain Disappearance. So these two cards seem to always come back to back with those rarities. And then we have a bunch of other stuff. One I definitely haven't seen, Spell Ruler. A green pack. Uh, you get packs feel like they just open up like butter. Uh, so how was it? Is it four, four from the front? That is definitely not how it is. What the fuck is this? Weather Report. Yu-Gi-Oh has just such varied artwork. Now that is definitely a throwback. This is um, a throwback set. Yeah, these are all really old artwork. I'm pretty sure, yeah. I definitely remember almost all of this stuff. This, is a, is, this isn't a really old pack or something, is it? 
Uh, I've got Heroes Shadow Scout. Definitely just reprints. Also, my method worked. Yu-Gi-Oh! Metal Raiders. Let's see if oh, they all open very, very easily. One, two, three, four. I could probably do it a better way, but we'll see if that works for this pack as well. I've got Doma, the Angel of Silence, Cybersaurus, Crawling Dragon. This artwork all looks like recognizable stuff as well, I think. At least the artwork um, is reminiscent of really old style. Uh, Petite Moth. We have Tribute of the Doomed. Ooh, that is some form of hollow there. And then we have Mooka Mooka. Mukka Mukka Mooka Mooka. Do the Haka Haka. These two were on their own in the different part of the box. I'm assuming they're the two nicer packs. Pharaoh's Servant and then Blue Eyes White Dragon. Legend of the Blue Eyes White Dragon. One, two, three, four to the front like so. See if that works for this one. Flying Kamakiri number two. Four starred Ladybug of Doom. Yu-Gi-Oh, you are fucking crazy, man. Ground collapse, Thousand Eyes Idol. Just anything. Literally anything is possible with this game. Name and art wise. Yeah, let's just call it the Steel Ogre Grotto. Fucking number two. Oh, Steel Ogre Grotto was already taken. All right. Shadow of the Eyes. Sorry, we already put so much shit out. Here's Oni Tank T34. Forget the first fucking 33 Oni Tanks. <sighs> okay, let's just put a hamster in the game, guys. Here's a fucking hamster in the game, guys. Okay, sorry. We have, um, I'm sorry for being un inappropriate. Here's the card appropriate, and that seems like uh, we've got Shaggy from Scooby-Doo teaming up with some bold guy to steal some treasure. All right, Legend of Blue-Eyes White Dragon. Ooh, this better be good. Surely there's a bunch of different uh, Blue-Eyes cards you can get in here. Three, four to the front. Let's see what we got. We've got some hard armor. Sometimes the names are so basic, and sometimes they're such a mouthful, they cram all the text together. Oh, finally! The Steel Ogre Grotto number one! The mystery has been solved! Christ! Root Water! We've got the fucking M Warrior number two. They probably go through every single letter of the alphabet and then every single fucking infinite number to name all the warriors in the army. Uh, we've got Larvas. Love Ass. More like it. We've got Petite Dragon. I remember that artwork. That's definitely a classic. Um, and then we've got the Goblin's Secret Remedy! What, a big fucking bucket of gold! Give the Goblin his secret remedy! Couple of fucking berries and some leaves. Whew! Alright, um, we've just absolutely cleaned through that box. Now, let's see what number two is all about. Alright, let's see. I feel like you can't really match the Blue Eyes White Dragon, Dark Magician, and the God cards. What do you have for us, Red Box? Okay. The, are these the off-brand gods? I don't think I recognize almost any of this stuff. Three Dark Lord cards? What the fuck is that? Sorry, I'm being one of those very annoying nostalgia <laughs> neckbeards. Raviel, Lord of Phantasms. I actually don't recognize that. All right, so for this one, we actually get special specific packs branded to this box. I can only assume these are a bunch of... Recent protagonists. Let's see, do we get um, a big card mat? We do, just like the first one. I actually really like this product. I wish Pokemon would do something similar. We have a bunch of nobodies. We flip it around, um, we got a, well, that, I mean, um, that's, that's Slifer, right? Or is that like a fucky version of him? I'm not sure. Wow, we have a lot of cards in this one. I think that's a lot more. Here he is, Raviel, or Raviel, the Lord of Phantasms, my friends. Then we have, yeah, so he's, that's, it's a weird way of phrasing them. Uria? Oh, it's not Slifer? Uria, Lord of Searing Flames. Okay, I'm not 100% sure what this stuff really is. We've got Limited Edition there as the text name. I really like that. Um, after that, we've got Hammond, Lord of Striking Thunder. Who could forget about... Hammond. After that, Dark Lord Asmodeus. Okay, all right. Then we have Dark Lord Superbia. We've got a bunch of the Dark Lords here, whatever they are. Uh, we've got Ida Arai. We have Cyber Lava. Lava, Lava, Cyber Lava. We have Lion Alligator. Just straight to the point with that name. That's what I'm talking about. Sometimes it's so complicated. 
Sometimes it's just a lion alligator. All right, moving on. We've got a spawn alligator. This one's wearing women's armor. Gay. We have Elemental Hero Great Tornado. Hero is, of course, in all caps, because why not? I guess it's how you identify, uh, like, a sub-specific class called the the hero. The hero I don't, who knows? We've got Parallel World Fusion. Sort of blue and a red fusing moons. We've got Dragonic Tactics. Okay. All of these are nice. Limited edition, I'm sure, special to the box. Probably reprints or something like that, but they're all nice and shiny, baby. We've got a Court of Justice, and that is going to do it for the special cards. That was definitely a little more. All right, all right. Let's open up the Mega Pack. Let's see what you're capable of, Mega Pack. What sort of stuff do you have in you? Let's try the one, two, three, four to the front. What makes this Mega? Oh, I think I might know what makes this Mega. I think I might know what makes this Mega. Nope. Okay. And the the order was different. See, Destiny Hero, and Hero is all caps lock. It's like these specific... We have E! This is a fucking Markiplier E meme! E. Dead meme, Yu-Gi-Oh, bro! Why? Why? This is... This is just... This is straight up testimony to exactly what I was saying! What? Literally anything! The absurdity is just fucking wild! I bet you there's every other al alphabetical letter and probably fucking Chinese as well. Who knows? Ancient City, Rainbow Ruins, Destiny Hero, the Double Dude! Double Dude! My god! <laughs> evil Hero! That's not possible! Surely that's an oxymoron! The Evil Hero? Lightning Golem. And then, okay. Okay! Now we're talking, baby. Banisher of the Radiance. Look at that. That's surely something. It seems we get four different types of rarity in this pack. Four different kinds of holographic. I think. I'm not sure. Well, I'll just stick to doing four to the front anyway. Like one, two, three, four. To the front like so. Flip it around. We're always going to have this uh, type of one on the front with the um, holographic name anyway, I think. Then we have Cunning of the Six Samurai. Elemental Hero! Caps Lock Hero! Um, Blade Edge. Blade, Blade Edge? Blade Edge. Instant Neo Space. We've got System of a Down. Why did you leave the keys upon the table? Here you go create another fable. Grab a brush and put a little makeup. Hide the scars to fade away the shake up. Interesting. System Down. Um, Elemental Hero Neos. We've got the Double D Crow. Look at the fucking big ass titties on this sun. Um, after that, we have, oh, okay. Oh, it's not even on the end either. So the order is a little fucky. Cyber End Dragon. Look for the type of, oh, all right. And then on the, yeah, okay. Wait, no, yeah, this is still a holographic. The Neos Wise Man. Yeah, he, I guess he, he looks wise enough. Three mega packs to go, guys. What are we gonna get? We don't know. Do we even... Oh, that one's got a little bit of cum on it. One, two, three, four to the front. Do we even know if it's good when we get it? Not really. Elemental Hero Chaos Neos. I feel like um, that's one we've already got, maybe. Crystal Blessing. The Six Samurai. We've got Elemental Hero Wild Edge. You gotta, you never got to forget about Wild Edge. And who could forget Elemental Hero Marine Neos? Neos Neos. We've got Elemental Hero Prisma. We've got the Rainbow Gravity. You guys are seriously smoking drugs! This, I know, that's, 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 that's this, 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 yeah, Elemental Hero, Phoenix Enforcer. Okay, up next, the Gladiator Beast, Mermillo. And he is, Oh, I feel like this is the best type of rarity we've got so far. I don't actually know if it means they're worth fuck all or whatever in this particular set. But, um, that, yeah, that's pretty crazy. That looks cool. I like his lips. He's got some luscious big lips. Good for kissing. Sorry, I was gonna say, I hate when people say, were you guys smoking drugs when you came up with this? But seriously, Yu-Gi-Oh! is on some other shit. We have one, two, three, four to the front. Just, we're just gonna keep doing it like that. Uh, I'm not gonna fuck with it. We've got Dark Calling. We've got Destiny Hero Dunker. We, there we go, there's the letter D. We've got the letter E, now we've got the letter D. Ben 10. Fucking hell, the Six Samurai Camon. Elemental Hero Lady Heat. We've got Hero Heart. We've got Elemental Hero Woodsman. 
All right, a little bit of shine. He also looks like a Ben 10 character. Um, and then we have... Can't even read read this shit. It's just too much shine. Elemental hero, flame wingman. Holy shit! Again, I know I don't know what my obsession is, but is that Slifer on his arm? Some sort of like weapon, something like that. Okay, and then on the end we have now that looks like a hero. Jane, light sworn paladin. Ooh, I like um the lion art around the character. Look at that rainbow shine. All right. What do we got? One more pack? I've got to go through this at the end and, and look up all the prices. I don't know what I'm doing until I do it. I could have got something good, but I don't know. I remember last time I pulled a very expensive card and obviously I have no idea until I'm actually editing the video and price checking them. What the fuck is this? That ain't no hero, bro. What is this? Oddish's retarded cousin? Nos Nosp? Thanks, Nosp, but I've had enough. There's, there's another D. Have we already seen the fucking D card? Is that a second one? The Destiny Signal? Evil Hero. Never heard of ya. We've got Elemental Recharge. We have Elemental Hero Lady Heat. That's a double. We've got the Hero's Mask. Anyone could put that on. Become a hero. We have Elemental Hero Inferno. Alright. Little bit of shine on this bad boy. After that, we have the Dimensional Fisher in this weird type of specific holographic. And then our very last card is the Gladiator Beast Octavius. Oh, he is a fierce warrior in green. Or yellow, d depends what way you tilt him. Woo! You know what, guys? I'm going to throw in an extra two packs here. Some legendary duelist packs. I think these are uh, some five packs, I'm pretty sure. One, two, three. How about we, how about we do four to the front anyway and see how that works out. We've got the Abyss Actors. Oh, here we go. Back to the Abyss Actors, we've got the Cyber Load Fusion. After that, we've got Photon Change. Ooh, that one's a little bit of holographic on the title. And we have Blackwing Zephyros the Elite. Not sure what's so elite about him. You don't even have any fucking holo, bro. I right, I'm about to head into the pack for our last pack here. Then we'll, we'll do our Pokemon Burning Shadows. This <laughs> is fucking one of the front, sure. We get um, this guy who we have already seen, Comic Relief, Abyss Actor, Comic Relief, Dragon Shrine, the White Stone of Legend, and the very end, we've got Chimera Tech, Rampage Dragon! He's absolutely furious. Let's see, we got um, a Burning Shadows here in this random desk, three-pack blister, the final one of this one. Rip it open, like so, slide you suckers off. A nice code card, one, two, three, to the front, getting rid of the lightning energy. We've got Simapore, Rotom Dex, Potown, Tynamo, Cutie Fly, Marcia Pie. We've got Rayalu, Rhyhorn, Tangela, Potown is reverse. And on the very end, folks, just a Malamar. All right. If you would like to buy any of the Max Mofo merch to support me, I've got a whole bunch of stuff. It's all beautiful quality. The link is at the top of the description below, or you can go to max.shirts with a Z dot cool. That is, that's the website name. On that website, you can find a bunch of other products that are not mine. If you buy any of those products, make sure you use code MOFO for 10% off. I think if you spend like a 150 US dollars, there's free shipping or something. And I'll see you guys in two or three days, hopefully. Oh!